Get ready to unbox the secrets of making money from your couch as we dive into a dream world where passion meets profit. In this video, we venture into the magical realm of app development and programming, where you can manifest your ideas into money-making machines. We'll journey through the intricate processes, explore the tools of the trade, and illuminate the path to substantial online income. Your ideas could be the next million-dollar app on everyone's mobile devices, and we've got the map to that treasure. Stick around till the end to unearth the pivotal tips and tricks that could skyrocket your success in this competitive market. Decide on a mobile platform. Deciding on a mobile platform for app development is a crucial decision that can significantly influence your project's success. There are several factors to consider when picking a mobile platform, such as your target audience, budget, desired features, and timeline. Target audience. To select the right platform, you need to understand your audience's behavior and preferences. Market research can provide insights into whether your target demographics prefer Android, iOS or other platforms. Consider factors like geography, age, income, and occupation. Budget. Different platforms have various developmental requirements which can impact cost. For example, building apps for iOS requires a Mac, and app submission on App Store has yearly charges, while Android app development can be done on either Windows, Mac or Linux platforms. Features. The prioritized features and functionality of your app can also impact the platform decision. Some features may have limited support or performance on certain platforms, or may require more extensive permissions than others. Monetization strategy. Your monetization method greatly affects the platform choice. If you plan to monetize the app through in-app purchases, iOS may be a better choice due to higher user spending. For ad revenue, Android could be more suitable due to its larger user base. Development time. Development for different platforms may vary in length due to differing programming languages and development environment. Long-term development. Android and iOS have different update cycles and feature rollouts. If your app requires constant updating or addition of the latest features, this should be factored into your decision. It's important to note that these factors are interconnected, and making a decision on your platform will often involve weighing both the advantages and potential trade-offs. Businesses often start with one platform and expand to others as they grow. This allows them to fine-tune their strategy and better understand their user base. In some cases, cross-platform development could also be a viable option. Tools like Flutter, React Native, Xamarin, or Cordova can help developers write code once and use it across multiple mobile platforms, thus lowering costs and shortening development time. Learn coding and programming. The digital era has seen a significant rise in the demand for coding and programming skills all around the world. Developing proficiency in coding is not only desirable for aspiring software engineers or web and app developers but is becoming a critical skill for various professions, including data analysts, digital marketers, and even product managers. Thus, learning to code or program can open up a multitude of career opportunities. Coding is a process of writing instructions for computers to perform specific tasks. It involves using programming languages like C++, Java, Python, and many others. Each of these languages has different complexity levels, functions, and syntax. However, the critical aspect is understanding that these languages serve as a medium for people to communicate with computers. Programming, while close to coding, presents broader aspects. It involves code writing, but also includes other tasks like problem analysis, algorithm creation, verification, testing, and debugging. Therefore, programming skills are essential to make a website, app, game, or any other software work effectively and efficiently. There are multiple ways to learn coding and programming, depending on one's level of interest, time, and resources. For example, online platforms. Websites like Codecademy, Coursera, or Udemy offer free and paid courses in various programming languages. Online platforms provide flexibility to learn at your own pace and time. Colleges or universities. Traditional institutions provide degree programs in computer science and related fields. They offer comprehensive learning and hands-on experience. Coding boot camps. These are intensive, short-term training programs that equip attendees with specific coding skills that are highly in demand in the job market. Self-teaching. For individuals with high self-discipline, there are endless resources on the internet tutorials, blogs, forums, free ebooks, and others to learn programming independently. Benefits of learning coding and programming extend beyond professional prospects. They promote problem-solving, structured thinking, and creativity. As children learn to code, 
they learn that no problem is too large to solve everything can be broken down into smaller parts. With increasing influence of technology in all areas of life, there's little doubt that coding and programming skills will continue to be invaluable. Therefore, now is a perfect time to become fluent in the language of the future coding. Choose the right development tools. Choosing the right development tools is a crucial aspect of any software development project. These tools aid developers in creating, testing, and debugging applications or products effectively and efficiently. A range of development tools are available today, which differ in their capabilities. The main aim is to choose one that best suits the project needs and requirements. These may include integrated development environments, IDEs, testing tools, programming languages, GUI design tools, and API development tools. Identifying requirements. Before choosing a development tool, it's essential to understand what you need. Identify the critical operations of your project, the nature of your project whether it's a web application, desktop application, or mobile app, and the skills of your team. Integrated development environments, IDEs, IDEs are software suites combining several tools required for software development. Examples of popular IDEs include Eclipse, Visual Studio, and NetBeans. The right IDE can improve productivity enormously and speed up your development process. Consider your project requirements, the programming languages it supports, and its integration with other necessary tools. Programming languages. The choice of programming language depends on what you want to accomplish with your code. Each language has its strengths and weaknesses, like Python is great for machine learning tasks, whereas JavaScript is typically used for web development. Consider the project need, team expertise, and the availability of community support. Testing tools. These tools are essential to ensure the functionality, performance, and security of the software product. Automated testing tools like Selenium or Junit can save a lot of time and effort. Make your choice depending on your testing requirements. GUI design tools. If your project requires a substantial graphical user interface, you may need to use GUI design tools like Sketch or Adobe XD. While choosing, consider ease of use, learning curve, and the ability to prototype and collaborate. API development tools. If your project involves creating APIs, choosing a feature-rich API development tool like Postman or Swagger can significantly simplify your process. Cost. The cost of development tools can vary greatly. While some IDEs and tools are free, others might require a substantial investment. However, spending more does not necessarily equate to better quality. Platform compatibility. Ensure the tool you select is compatible with the platform you are using for development. Lack of compatibility may lead to unnecessary complications. Community support. A solid community can help when you encounter problems. A good development tool generally has a large community that can provide guidance and problem-solving resources. Future proof. Consider if your chosen technology has a strong future perspective or if it is becoming obsolete. Tools that are not keeping up with the current trends may not serve their purpose in the long run. Remember, the best tools will enhance development processes without hindering creativity and problem solving. Therefore, it's wise to investigate thoroughly and trial several tools before making a final decision. Also, keep in mind that as your project evolves, your tools might need to change too. So, stay flexible and keep exploring. Create an effective UI UX design. Creating an effective UI, UX design is a fundamental factor in ensuring the success of any project. It goes beyond the aesthetics and visual appeal, encompassing the overall user experience on a site or application. Here are some strategies to create an effective UI, UX design. Understand your users. The most important aspect of UI, UX design is understanding who your users are, their goals, and how they interact with your platform. This can be accomplished through various research techniques such as surveys, user interviews, and usability testing. Clarity and simplicity. UI, UX design should enable users to understand and interact with the platform easily. Ensure basic elements such as buttons, links or icons are easily understandable and clickable. Avoid unnecessary complexities that may confuse the user. Consistency. Consistent design makes it easier for users to recognize patterns and navigate seamlessly. Use consistent fonts, colors, buttons and other design elements throughout. Responsiveness. Your design should be adaptable to various devices, platforms and screen sizes. A critical element of modern UI, UX design is ensuring that it offers a consistent experience across all devices. Implement visual hierarchy. 
Visual hierarchy is the arrangement and presentation of design elements in order of their importance. It significantly affects the usability and accessibility of a platform by guiding users through the platform intuitively. Use of topography and colors. The right use of fonts and colors can significantly influence your website's look and feel. They should not only align with your brand identity but also ensure readability and easy navigation. User feedback. Collect and analyze user feedback for continuous improvement. It helps identify areas that need improvement and also understand what users find most valuable about your product. Intuitive navigation. Users should find it easy to move around and achieve desired actions on your platform. Therefore, keep your navigation menu simple and intuitive to make it user-friendly. Fast loading time. Slow load times can be a major turn-off for users. Hence, it's critical to optimize images, utilize appropriate file formats and follow best practices to speed up the load time. Process optimization. Streamline the number of steps necessary for a user to complete any given task. The less a user has to click, the better their experience will be. Adhering to these strategies can help create a seamless and engaging user interface and user experience design. Remember that great designs focus on providing solutions to user problems, prioritizing functionality and usability over design elements. Hence, always keep your end user in mind when designing. Develop the app. Developing an app involves several steps, each requiring ample consideration and attention to detail to ensure its success. Here's a detailed discussion on the process. Concept and market research. The journey begins with an idea. It could be a solution to a problem, an advanced version of an existing app, or a completely unique application. Thorough market research is conducted at this stage to understand the potential audience, the competition, and technological feasibility. Customer feedback, surveys, and trends analysis are used to solidify the concept. Planning and strategy development. The app's objective, target audience, monetization model, and marketing strategy are defined in this step. It's crucial to set clear goals and timelines for development, testing, and launch. Design. An app's design should ensure a pleasant user experience. This is divided into five phases. Wireframe creation. The app's skeleton. User interface design. How the app appears. Front-end coding. Back-end coding and checking the UI, UX design for improvements. The aim is to have a visually appealing yet easy-to-use design. Development. A choice of native, hybrid, or web app is made depending on the audience's needs. The app is built in phases according to a previously made plan. Focus on the functionalities and app architecture for smooth user navigation. Testing. The developed app undergoes several tests, for both functionality and compatibility, to identify and fix any bugs, crashes, or design errors. It ensures the quality of your app and a good user experience. Launch. After ensuring that the app is error-free, it is submitted to app stores and released into the market. Visibility is key at this stage, so make sure the app is properly optimized to show up in relevant search results. Maintenance and updates. Releasing the app is not the end, but the beginning of another phase. Users' feedback should be analyzed, and developers should continuously improve the app, fix bugs and add new features according to the audience's needs. Marketing strategy. An effective marketing strategy is instrumental for the success of an app. It helps bring visibility to the app and attract users. Using social media platforms, CO and ASO techniques, influencer marketing, and paid campaigns are some ways to promote the app. Remember, developing an app requires a dedicated team of UX, UI designers, developers, testers, and marketing professionals. Depending on the complexity of the app and the resources available, developing an app can take anywhere from a couple of weeks to over a year. Test the app thoroughly. Developing an application involves much more than coding and design. It also requires comprehensive testing to ensure its functionality, usability, performance, security, and more. Testing an application thoroughly is essential for several reasons. First, it is necessary to identify and fix any potential issues or bugs that could hinder the app's performance or prompt potential users to uninstall the app in frustration. Rigorous testing also ensures that all the features and functionalities of the app work flawlessly and delivers an optimal user experience. Moreover, a well-tested application can withstand high traffic inflow, making it a reliable platform for users even at peak user inflow. In terms of application security, a thorough testing process helps identify any potential vulnerabilities or security risks that could compromise user data and privacy. Now, 
Let's look at the key areas where an app should be tested thoroughly. Usability testing. This ensures the app's user interface is easy to use and navigate. Essentially, it tests whether users can easily recognize how to use the app without much thought or effort. Functional testing. Tests all the functionalities of the app to detect any anomalies or errors in the processing. Compatibility testing. This checks whether the app runs smoothly on different devices, operating systems, browsers, and screen sizes. Performance testing. Evaluates the app's speed, responsiveness, and stability under a particular workload. Security testing. Verifies that user data is well protected against any unauthorized access or modifications. Load testing. Evaluates the app's behavior when subjected to both normal and peak load conditions. Regression testing. Checks that any modifications or updates have not harmed the app's existing functionalities. Localization testing. Ensures the app is ready for its intended geographic market, testing local language, currency, date format, etc. Using a combination of manual testing and automated testing tools, developers should carry out multiple rounds of rigorous testing. Tests should be conducted in real-life scenarios across a combination of different devices, browsers and platforms for a more accurate assessment. In short, skipping thorough testing or rushing this stage could lead to significant problems down the line damaging the app's reputation and user trust. Hence, to achieve a successful application launch, thorough testing is crucial. Register as a developer on app stores. Registering as a developer on different app stores is an important step to enrich your app development career and increase your visibility. Below are the details of how you can register as a developer on different app stores. Google Play Store. Google offers a simple process to become a developer. You need a Google account, Agree to their developer distribution agreement, and pay a one-time fees of $25. After that, you can fill in the details about you or your company and start uploading your apps. Google Play Developer Console offers many tools for developers to analyze performance of your apps in the market. Apple App Store. Unlike Google, Apple's registration process is a bit strict and thorough. They have an annual fee of $99. To register, you need an Apple ID, personal information, and details about your tax and banking information for transactions. They also have a review process that checks the quality and appropriateness of the app before listing on the store. You can start uploading the app once all the verification processes are complete. Amazon App Store. The process for Amazon is straightforward and free. You need an Amazon account to get started. They also provide the option to monetize your app, track your earnings, and get insights about your app's performance. Similar registration processes apply to other app stores like Windows Store, BlackBerry World, etc. The main features of the developer console of these platforms include options to manage apps, track sales, interact with users, get analytics reports, check performance etc. Enhancing your presence on app stores not only increases the visibility but also adds credibility to your work. As a developer, it's not enough to just create an app, you need a platform to showcase them. Therefore, it's very beneficial to register as a developer on these app stores. Remember to stay updated with the guidelines of the respective app stores, because they regularly update their rules to maintain standards and security for users. Making sure you adhere to these guidelines helps to prevent your app from getting rejected. Set up in app purchases or advertisements. In app purchases and advertisements allow you to monetize your app, helping you generate revenue. Setting up in app purchases or advertisements involves various processes. For in-app purchases. The first step is deciding the type of purchase within your app. According to Google Play Store and Apple's App Store, there are different types of in-app purchases, namely consumables, non-consumables, and subscriptions. Consumables. These are one-time use items, such as virtual money or health points in games. Non-consumables. These are features you buy for permanent use, such as ad removal options or premium content. Subscriptions. These are for offering a service with recurring billing. After deciding on the type of in-app purchase, you need to create a new in-app purchase product for your Android or iOS app. This can be done through Google Play Console for Android apps and App Store Connect for iOS apps. Next, you need to integrate the in-app purchase to your app. Depending upon the platform, you will need to use the available APIs like Google Play Billing for Android and StoreKit for iOS. Lastly, test your in-app purchases before making them live. Both Google and Apple provide testing environments for this. For advertisements. First, you need to choose an ad network. Some popular ad networks include Google AdMob, 
Facebook Audience Network, Unity Ads, etc. After selecting an ad network, you need to sign up and create an ad. This usually involves choosing the ad format, banner ads, interstitial ads, reward ads, etc., setting up targeting options, and setting a budget. Next, you need to integrate the advertisement into your app. Ad networks provide SDKs that let you easily add their advertisement into your app. Depending on the ad format, you will need to place it wisely within your app to maximize revenue while maintaining a good user experience. Lastly, remember to comply with the terms and conditions of the ad networks and respect your user's privacy. Any violation could lead to your app getting banned. In general, the balance is key. While these monetization methods can provide a good income, you do not want to alienate your customers with too many ads or expensive in-app purchases. Submit your app to the app stores. Creating your own app could be an exciting experience, and after several weeks or months of work, you are getting ready to showcase your innovative solution to the world. One of the important steps to ensure that your app reaches your targeted audience is to submit it to the App Store's Apple's App Store for iOS apps and Google's Play Store for Android apps. Here's a comprehensive guide to walk you through each step of the process. Understand store guidelines. Each store, whether Apple or Google, has its own set of guidelines for app submission. Familiarize yourself with these to make sure your app ticks all the boxes for approval. Make sure your app complies with all necessary legal and copyright aspects. Non-compliance can lead to rejection or removal post-publication. Optimize your app store listing. Your app store listing will also need some careful thought and planning. Make sure to fill out every field of the listing information. Choose a catchy name and write a compelling description. Utilize screenshots and videos to demonstrate your app's features and functionality. Optimizing this page ensures that your app will be found by users who are searching for apps like yours. Test your app. This is a very crucial step before submission. Ensure that you thoroughly tested your app with various test tools available. Apple's test flight or Google's internal testing track could be used. Prepare all necessary assets. You'll need to prepare various assets for the submission process, including writing a description, deciding on a price for your app, free or paid, preparing screenshots, and creating an app icon. Submit your app. For submission of iOS apps, you will need to register as Apple developer and use the iTunes Connect platform. Write a compelling app description. Set your app's price, upload your app, and finally, send your version for review. Google's submission process requires that you access and complete each section on the Google Play console. Once done with all the sections, click on Review to overview everything, then roll it out to production. Review. After submission, your app will go under review. Different stores have different turnaround times and policies. Be patient and wait for feedback. Post approval. Once approved, monitor the app download stats, user reviews, ratings, and feedback and keep updating and enhancing your app based on customer feedback. Update versions. Continuous innovation is the key to maintaining and increasing download rates. Once a user downloads an app, you have to continually improve the app to keep engagement levels at their peak. To launch a new version, just follow the steps necessary to submit your app, choosing the update option instead of a new app. These steps apply in general to both App Store and Google Play Store, so follow these steps, keep learning, and continually innovate your app to increase its popularity. Market your app. Marketing an app involves strategies specifically designed to increase its visibility, downloads, and user engagement. With over 2 million apps available on major platforms like Google Play Store and Apple App Store, standing out from the competition requires skillful marketing. To market your app effectively, you first need to understand your target audience. Who are they? What are their interests and behaviors? What kind of apps do they usually download? Answering these questions will help you tailor your marketing strategies to reach the right people with the right message. Once you've identified your target audience, next is to optimize your app for the App Store often referred to as App Store Optimization, ASO. This includes using relevant keywords in your app's title and description, choosing an eye-catching app icon, and providing compelling screenshots or videos that showcase your app's features. Content marketing can also be beneficial. This can take the form of blog posts, guides, video content or infographics that provide valuable information related to your app. For example, if your app is a fitness tracking app, you might create blog posts about workout plans or healthy eating. Social media platforms present another big opportunity for app marketing. You can engage with your audience through regular posts, encourage shares and likes, and even run ad campaigns. 
Platforms like Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and LinkedIn can provide different types of audiences and marketing approaches. One of the most effective ways to market your app is through leveraging user reviews and ratings. Positive reviews and high ratings can significantly improve the credibility of your app, thereby increasing the chances of downloads. Another strategy to consider is influencer marketing. Influencers, with their large and loyal followers, can help spread the word about your app. Choose influencers whose followers align with your target audience to amplify the results. Lastly, consider a launch campaign to boost initial downloads. Offering limited time promotions or exclusive features can encourage early adoption. Remember to track the performance of your marketing strategies and adjust them as necessary. Your app's popularity and success will hinge on your ability to reach and engage your target users. In conclusion, marketing an app involves a multifaceted approach, aiming not just for visibility but also for engagement and user retention. By understanding your audience, leveraging multiple marketing channels, and continuously optimizing your strategies, you can effectively promote your app and stand out from the competition. Monitor app performance. With the increasing reliance on mobile applications, monitoring app performance has become a critical aspect of businesses today. It refers to assessing the functionality, speed, and usability of an app in various scenarios and contexts to ensure a seamless and unparalleled user experience. It involves tracking and measuring key performance metrics such as load time, crashes, error rates, server response time, and network-related issues. There are various tools available to monitor app performance, helping to identify bugs, bottlenecks, and areas of improvement factors that could potentially hinder smooth functioning, causing users to abandon the app. With detailed analysis and actionable insights on app behavior offered by these tools, developers can address performance issues, enhance app quality, and drive user engagement and satisfaction. Monitor app performance aims at delivering optimal service by constantly keeping an eye on user feedback and implementing essential changes to keep up with evolving market trends and user expectations. Among the key elements monitored are real user monitoring, which observes user interaction with the application, synthetic monitoring, creating simulations to test under different situations, and crash reporting, identifying breakdowns and glitches, providing details about the app's malfunction. In essence, monitoring app performance is a continuous process that goes hand-in-hand with delivering a successful app. It ensures the app's stability, usability, functionality, speed, and security, all contributing to a positive end-user experience. Additionally, it helps businesses retain users, achieve customer loyalty, reduce cost, improve productivity, and gain a competitive edge in the market. Update and maintain the app. Keeping a mobile application up to date and well maintained is a critical task for any app developer or company. This important activity involves several elements that can make the difference between a successful app and one that fails to deliver. Updating your app. Updating your app entails introducing new features, fixing bugs, or making performance improvements. Regular updates not only make your app more appealing but also help retain users, as they see that you are active and taking care of the app. Below are some key points to consider when updating your app. User feedback. It's crucial to listen to your users as they use your app daily and can provide crucial insight into how you can improve it. Negative reviews or repeated complaints about a particular issue need immediate attention. Market trends. Keep up to date with the evolving market trends. Users lose interest in outdated apps. Therefore, it's essential to introduce trending features and functionalities to keep your users engaged and attract potential users. Security updates. Security is a significant concern for users today. Regularly updating security measures in your application can protect user data and build trust among your users. Maintaining your app. App maintenance is a continuous process of bug fixing, server management, code optimization, and monitoring and controlling systems. Below are some key points to consider for maintaining your app. Regular bug fixes. While your app was perfect at the time it was launched, users may start experiencing bugs and glitches with time. Regular maintenance ensures these issues are promptly fixed. Performance optimization. Apps may become slower with time due to updates, an increase in user base, or introduction of new features. Regular monitoring and maintenance can help you ensure the app continues to deliver superior performance to all users. OS and device compatibility. As new operating systems and devices come into the market, your app needs to be compatible with them. Also, changes in APIs or policies could affect your app's performance, so regular maintenance is required to ensure compatibility.
Adopting a robust update and maintenance strategy ensures your app stays relevant, performs optimally, and continues to meet user expectations. This process not only improves app retention rates but also boosts overall customer satisfaction. Monetize through paid downloads, ads, or subscriptions. Monetizing through paid downloads, ads, or subscriptions involves generating revenue from users directly purchasing your product or service, clicking on or viewing ads within your platform, or purchasing a subscription for access to your digital content or service. Paid downloads. This form of monetization is famously used by app creators. Users are asked to pay a one-time fee to download the application. The central benefits of this model are the straightforwardness and immediate source of revenue generated per download. However, the burden lies in convincing users to purchase your app in a competitive market filled with free alternatives. Ads. In this model, businesses generate revenue by displaying advertisements in their digital platforms, like websites, apps, or YouTube channels. The ads are typically managed through an ad network, which serves as an intermediary between businesses willing to advertise and platforms that can display their ads. Two common types of ad revenue models include cost per click, CPC, where you earn every time a user clicks on an ad, and cost per impression, CPM, where you earn based on the number of people who view the ads. Subscriptions. This model is commonly employed in the realm of digital platforms, software, media publications, and online services, like Netflix, Spotify, etc. Users are required to pay a regular fee, monthly or annually, to access the content or service. The subscription model provides a predictable and steady source of income, provides opportunities to build long-term relationships with customers and improve customer lifetime value. However, it demands constant work in offering fresh, high-quality content or updates to keep subscribers engaged and deter them from canceling their subscriptions. Each of these methods has its strengths and weaknesses and will be effective based on aspects such as the type of product or service, target audience, market trend, and competition. Often, businesses use a mix of these strategies to maximize their earning potential. For instance, a mobile app could offer a free version with ads and a paid, ad-free version with extra features. Or a newspaper website might give partial content free, generate ad revenue from those users, and also offer a subscription for full access to all its articles. Build a portfolio. Creating and managing a portfolio is a crucial part of tracking and showcasing your work, skills, and achievements. A portfolio can be an important personal brand management tool, essential in fields like writing, design, photography or marketing. However, a portfolio isn't just for creative fields, it has become increasingly important in various professional fields and industries. Understand your goals. The first step to building a portfolio is to understand your goals, the audience you are targeting, and what you want to achieve with it. Are you using it to impress future employers, sell your services to clients or just to document your work and growth? Your end goal will shape your portfolio's design and content. Choose best works. Just include your best works. Don't feel the need to include everything you've ever created. Instead, choose projects that you're most proud of, which have had a significant impact, or that best represent your growth and skills. Organize properly. Your portfolio should be organized and easy to navigate. You can organize your work by using different categories like by industries, by project type, or by skills used. Always make it convenient for viewers to review your work. Include details. Understand that a portfolio is not just about displaying multiple projects, but also about detailing every project. Let people know about your role in the project, the objective, process involved, timelines, challenges encountered and overcome, etc. Showcase a range of skills. Make sure you showcase a variety of skills in your portfolio that aligns with your career goals. It gives an idea about your versatility and adaptability. Keep it updated. Regularly updating your portfolio ensures that potential clients or employers can see your current level of skills and creativity. Regular updates are also a great way to keep your portfolio fresh and interesting. Presentation matter. Invest some time in the presentation and make it impressive. Make sure the design, fonts, visuals, and every aspect of your portfolio is clean, professional, and aesthetically pleasing. Include testimonials. If you have received any praise from clients or customers, consider including this feedback in your portfolio. Testimonials add credibility to your skills and expertise. Have an online presence. An online portfolio is a must now. It's much easier to share, and people can check out your work from anywhere at any time. Review and get feedback. 
Get feedback on your portfolio from peers, mentors, or people working in your field. They will give insightful suggestions and find areas you might overlook. In conclusion, a well-curated and maintained portfolio can open up new opportunities and lets you showcase your professional progress. Remember, your portfolio is inherently personal. It should reflect who you are, how you think, and what you can do. Network with other developers and clients. In the digital age, networking with other developers and clients has become easier than ever. Being able to communicate effectively is crucial in order to produce professional-grade products and maintain healthy, effective working relationships. Networking with other developers allows for knowledge sharing, getting different perspectives on solutions and problem solving, staying abreast of latest technologies and industry trends, and building partnerships for mutual growth and development. Online platforms are aplenty for networking with developers, like LinkedIn, GitHub, Stack Overflow, etc. Here, you can contribute to open source projects, engage in discussions, and learn from others' code. Similarly, local meetups, hackathons, and industry conferences can provide opportunities to meet and network with other professionals in person. While networking with clients, it is essential to understand their business needs, heed to their feedback, and maintain open, honest communication. It is less about selling your skills and more about building a relationship based on trust, delivering value and quality work. A satisfied client can not only bring repeat business but also refer you to other potential clients. Networking emphasizes the importance of soft skills such as active listening, empathy, and influencing. Through active listening, you can understand the challenges faced by other developers or clients' key requirements. Empathy allows you to understand and share the feelings of others, and influencing helps to mold their ideas and thought process positively. To sum up, networking is a powerful tool in the professional world of software development. Whether it's learning new concepts from fellow developers or understanding the needs and challenges of clients better, having a strong network can significantly boost a developer's career. All right, folks, that's going to do it for today's video. If you found value in what you watched, enjoyed it, or learned something new, let's keep this informative journey going by making sure you're not missing out on any of our future content. Click that subscribe button right now to stay up to date with all our latest and greatest videos. Subscribing will not only support our channel but also ensure that you stay on top of all things new and exciting here. But it doesn't stop there, we want to know what you think. Hit that like button to let us know you enjoyed this content and drop a comment below with your thoughts, your perspectives matter to us. To be one of the first to see our new content, don't forget to tap the bell icon. That way, you'll get a notification straight to your device every time we post a new video. Now, if you liked this video, I recommend you check out our video. Trust me, it, S.A. must watch. Once again, thanks so much for joining us. We really appreciate your time and enthusiasm in being part of our community. Keep interacting, keep engaging, let's keep learning together. Until the next time.